Good morning, welcome back to Vice Grip Garage. Today is day four of Route 66. My son Bentley and I trying to get about 1,600 miles across the country. We made our Amarillo, Texas, early this morning, quarter after one, sometime around there. We're gonna get to Albuquerque, New Mexico today. If all goes well, we got a bunch of fun stops planned. We're gonna do some upgrades on the truck this morning, and the first stop is the old legendary Cadillac Ranch. First thing I noticed this morning, no leaks, no drips, no drops, nothing. So that work we did yesterday on the oil cooler did the trick. We're actually getting some more oil pieces out of it. Now that it's not pumpulating it up here. See how she's doing this morning. I always like to check the spark plug boots just to make sure that they're engaged and everything like that. Check the oil here. She's down. We need to add the oils. I think I didn't add enough after we changed it, if I'm being honest. But that's just the way that she goes. I'm also going to change this filter today. I think it's time to do that. Get that swapped out. Check on the brake juice. Check. How's the ice cubes doing? I don't know. Let's look. Well, we can maybe put a splish splash in there. Boop. Okay. Sure, check, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, sometimes the guys just got to stop and clean the Leatherman up and oil her down. You know, get her ready for some work. Bentley's been having fun with this camp gun here. Can't bring it on the plane, you know. You remember these things back when you was a kid? Yeah, me too. Cold start. Here we go. Let's see what we got this morning. Moses sandals, they got louder it seems like. Right away. Look at that oil pressure. Don't act like you're not impressed. This truck, honest to goodness, just runs so good. Fires right up. Hold the throttle for I don't know, five to eight seconds. They'll just sit here and idle. It's a big block, fellas. Well, we gotta find some gas stations, get the fuel, drinks, snacks, you know the deal. And we'll be ready to hit the road. It rained on us probably a handful of times yesterday. Couldn't see nothing, you know what I mean? I ran extra down, but these square bodies are so aerodynamic when that brick front hits the wind. It just goes all the way up and over. So the water that hits the glass just, you know, it sits there. And then I remembered before I left, <laughs> yeah, I bought some blades. I just didn't put them on yet. So it's been sprinkling this morning already. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these bad boys on quick. Bentley's on trash duty right now. Got her filling up with the cheapest gas we can find. It's going good. Also gonna try this Chick On Express. This is for breakfast. No, they're definitely closed. Beef jerky it is. Blades are in. Normal, not the switch ones. Hey, when you clean your windshield with the squeegee and it leaves these streaks, take some paper towels, dip it in that stuff, wet her down again, and then just wipe it off. It's gonna get rid of all those streaks. Make her nice and clean for a guy. Oh yeah. True story for you. We switched to using these styrofoam because they actually hold ice instead of that thing. This had a crack in it and I didn't realize it and it was this way in the seat all day and it was so hot and sweaty, I didn't feel it till I got out of the truck early this morning. But my whole hinder end, everything soaked down with water. So we replaced it with this cheapie. I'm gonna switch everything over and hit the road. We got a bunch of root beer to get through today. It's, it's gonna be something else. Yeah, how many, like eight different kinds? We made it to a northern tool. Fellers, I know this is gonna be hard to hear, but it's like a Harbor Freight, 
but classier. I mean, it's, they got, they sell Honda and Milwaukee and a whole bunch of name brand stuff, but it's dirt cheap, like really affordable. So we got to find a cheap drill. I think we just walked past the paint. A couple other accoutrements for some upgrades today. This is actually where I got my compressor. Uh, this guy right, right here, but a two-stage. North Star does really good. It's a pretty cool place. Got lawnmowers, trailers, welding equipment. What is, <laughs> Hobart welders. Lincoln welders. Oh. Well, they got the Boschishes too. Well, I'll be deaf. The Waltz making lawnmowers. I got uh, the same engine in my zero turn. Kawasaki. I mean, looks pretty nice, but ain't no Swisher. 100% American made, you know what I mean? Have you seen the price of drills these days? <laughs> I was heading to Harbor Freight and then the truck just just quit so we pulled into here it's uh definitely electro digital seems like anyway what am i rubbing my leg on here this cable i don't know let's touch it oh it's rg6 with the traveler cable television down somewhere oh well okay that was weird i was acting like what i had assumed was the charger where their belt broke and we ran the battery dead all i did was lean in and jiggle these turn the key and it fired right up. Maybe we should buy a jump pack when we go to Harbor Freight. Okay. Watch your phalanges coming down. Quit again. Bentley said the fuel pump's going out. Oh, it looks clean. Oh, she's bubbling. Oh. How does that happen? I don't know. It ain't even that hot. There's no heat in here. You think the tank's hot? Is that possible? Hmm. Let me uh, let me crack that. And get, I bet there's some wind stuck in there. Hopefully the pickup sock is plugged in the tank. Well, we pushed the truck over there, and we'll deal with that later. Right now, we're Harbor Freight shopping. Still need to get a drill, a couple other things. See if they have anything that could help with this situation as well. Probably not, that's great. Well, we did get some stuff. Time to deal with this truck, I guess. While well, I was waiting, I scraped all the stickers off the back window. Looking better. Still gotta clean it up anyway. Fuel delivery, that's an issue. It's gonna be pickup sock is plugged. Not good. Really not good. The switch is shot or something going on there. Or the fuel pump. Now mechanical fuel pumps rarely fail. I mean rare, rare. You you're better off having your wife agree with you. You know what I mean? That's how rare I'm talking. So I got one of them Ubers on the way, $6.48. We can get to the parts store, go pick up some supplies, see if we can get this figured out. We were super excited. We were gonna have a early day today and actually get to the motel before tomorrow, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be happening. But how blessed are we that this happened in town and not somewhere on the interstate last night? So we're doing good. Got one of these for Christmas one year. Same exact thing. Bentley has never been in a pawn shop before, so what do you think? Cool. Yeah, you found a good deal on a switch. You found a drill over here you wanted for 20 bucks. I mean, we got everything. Cowboy hats, wheels, lots of computer box machines. Anyway, our Uber 
is about to show up. Got a fuel pump later. They didn't have 3 8 fuel line and a whole bunch of other stuff, so I got some power steering. I went to a store that I don't normally go to, and then I was reminded why I go to the other store a lot. Yeah. Well, the first thing a guy and a little guy need to do, you drinking beers already? Is we need to assess a lies. You know, is it up here or is it back there? So I disconnected the fuel line from the tank. Of course, I had nothing there. So we need to determine pump or something back here. I'm gonna hook, this is, we're gonna call this fuel line for now, okay? Plug that in and I'm gonna suck and blow and suck and drink and do all that stuff. And see if we can get fuel coming back and forth in the windpipe down there. And if that happens, then I know we can get into that greasy mess of changing the pump out. If we don't get that, we know this pump is most likely good. And we got, you know, the switch is bad. You know, the left right tank select o -matiker. Or the pickup sock and the fuel tank is plugged, which is, you know, then we're staying here tonight in this parking lot, basically. So that's great. We'll have to drop the tank. Anyway, getting after it. That's allegedly fuel right there. So that's good. That means uh, we don't have any restrictions. You know, the nightmare of the potential nightmare of the current nightmare is less worser than we thought so it's gooder now so for whatever reason we have a bad mechanical fuel pump i just can't believe it but i guess i got to i'm looking right at it by the way this is why you don't run fuel through ps lines unless you're in a real bad jam so let me get after it new fuel pump is in i wanted to show you guys something really quick chevrolet's gm in general we're really engineered so common folks can just work on them. Everything is interchangeable. Super easy, right? All the way down to actually working on them. And fuel pumps here, there's a rod, of course, that runs the armature that goes up to the camshaft. Well, I hear and read stories about fellers fighting with that rod to keep it up so you could slide the fuel pump underneath of it. Well, this bolt right here, fellers, is not just a bolt, it's a window. Pull that out. You can stick a screwdriver or anything in there, hold that rod for you until you get the armature in place, pull that out, and you're good to go. Put in one bolt, swing it, put in the other bolt, replace that bolt with just a dab of rid of on it, and you're good to go. You can swap a fuel pump in five minutes flat. So what we're gonna do now is crank it over with no lines hooked up, because I wanna hear that go just to make sure that the armature is in there and everything and that this pump is gonna pump a late. Then we'll just hook up all the lines and should be good. Go ahead. You hear that down there? Okay, shut it off. That's just running off of the fuel in the cart, by the way. But I heard it suck a so we're good to go to hook all this back up. Okay, everything's hooked up. Go ahead, Bentley. Mirrors, they're handy. I got one, I don't like it. Let's fix that. As luck would go on ahead and have it, two of these match up. Now I like the big toe mirrors, but the ones that came in the back of the truck did not fit this configuration here. So we're gonna go to the old standby square body mirror. Got this side down, gonna swing over, get the old one off. Get that one on. Mirrors are on. Bentley's shining them up. And then he's cleaning the back glass now where I got all these stickers off here. Truck's looking pretty sharp. I ain't kidding ya. It's got fuel. Unhook the filter, put it in the air, crank the key. Something just happened to the digital now. I don't know. Here's some irony that's 
It's thick. I don't think you can even cut it. Remember when I did the revival on this? I replaced the coil and the modulator. And I stated I'm doing it for reliability because you never have to mess with it. Well, one of the two is bad. I ain't got no spark. I got power to the lightning weather. So that's the only thing that it could be at this point. And it's probably because it's aftermarket stuff, I'm guessing. I can't go back to a standard coil because I don't have the cap, the lid, anymore. So we'll go down to the parts store, see what we can find. Well, I just ohmed it out, primary and secondary, and positively, this coil is bad. So that's, that's great. So under the super horsepower lightning cap, it's just your typical coil. Really the only difference between these two, this is a master program, is the gauge of the wire coming out of it. So this is gonna end up in here. We're gonna put her back together. Well, there we go, back in action again. I gotta pick it up though. <laughs> well, time for us to go eat some dinner, I think. Now it got late in the day on us. You know, if a feller just spends more time understanding how things work and why they fail, you'll be better off because you're not just machine gunning your vehicle with parts. You know exactly what to get and what's wrong. And it makes your repairs faster. And then a guy can get confidence to drive junk like this across the country because you can troubleshoot it, figure out what it is, buy the cheapest one they have on the shelf, and wait she goes, why is the belt squealing now? Huh. Gonna have to hit it with some deodorant. Well, we officially made it 3.3 miles. One can't go to Amarillo without visiting the Cadillac. This place is packed like Walmart. I ain't kidding it. We had to fight for parking. There's traffic and there's cars everywhere. Someone out here's got like a icy machine selling t-shirts. I, I didn't expect this. Just some Cadillacs out in the field. Let's go check it out. You don't even need to bring spray paint. You could just buy it right here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ten Cadillacs. You know, all you can hear is. Tss. And the old rattle ball is going. Kind of makes me happy if I'm being honest. There's got to be an inch thick of spray paint on these things. It's wild. I know this looks like spray foam. Never seen anything like this, right? So I did science. Look at this. I stuck the knife in there. This is all paint layers. In some cases, a foot deep. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Looks like cake frosting. Huh, well you got enough to polish out, I guess. Guy could run the one grit down this to get some shine. Paint. Wow. It's awesome. He's excited the rear end still works. Yeah. That's a good... There's a red and a black if you want Oh, okay. Thank okay, you. Deer where we're at, but had to swing in here. Saw a Studebaker Starlight, a few other things. Let's take a look. Model A, good iron on that one. Yeah, got the Dodge, 
D100. Who knows what made up? Warlock, Gremlin, Monster Heads, Power Wagon Expresses. I don't know what. Custom. I don't know what brand it is. Maybe the old Edsel. I actually have an Edsel. If you guys want to see that, well, let me know, I guess. They're pretty unique. A little bit too aggressive on the styling, I think. And that, boy, that shut down quick. This is what makes these Studebakers so darn neat. You guys have seen my coupe in Rusty Acres. I have a red starlight. And this wraparound glass right here, kind of Jetson-ish. And this is always the case. This glass is so rare to find all the pieces in intact. Body's in great shape. This desert metal's pretty good, huh, bud? Yeah. Another starlight coupe over there. Old Plymouth. Studi pickups. Guy likes his bakers. For sure. Lark 7750s. These are pretty neat trucks. But they really like the angled glass, didn't they? I don't know, they must have had a real good glass guy. Or something. This DeSoto is pretty cool. What a nice front end. Well, I mean, I like it. You don't have to. I'm just saying I like it. Yeah, that's pretty neat, huh? Boy, that's a lot of Studebakers. Nothing's for sale, unfortunately. First question I ask. The old Ambassador Custom. Talk about taking a chance on style. Holy smoke. Where are the tires at on that one? <laughs> exactly. They're working on an old swept line Dodge back there, and then I got the Bel Air they're working on. He's got a 400 small block Vortec Runner, 700 R4, S10 rear, Camaro front half, four wheel disc brakes. Like old timer too. Well, we made her to tuck them in, Carrie. Tuck them macaroni. Tea dizzle. We're in New Mexico at the TP. We're at the TP place, really nice Route 66 back here. And uh, little dude wants to get another souvenir. I don't think we're gonna be able to fly back with them all. But let's go see what they got to offer here. By the way, the short and frame on that guy, zero suspension, just notched that axle right into it. <laughs> Approved. A lot of neat signs in here. They got LPs of all flavors. Hats. It's pretty cool. Oh man. They got new upholstery. All different kinds of colors. Cover your seats with them fellers. I ain't kidding you. Huh. We better get something. Scooting along. I think there's probably, there's got to be 15 to 20 out of business service stations in this town fellers. It's bizarre. And I don't know how many. Someone tried to burn that place down. How many uh, abandoned motels? It's sad. This used to be a cafe, too. Newkirk, Mexico. They've got a post office and homemade burritos. Yes, that's why we're here. I actually had to phone ahead. See, a guy just didn't look at the 
fuel gauge. Well, anyway, long story short, whatever. It was probably about to come back up to full. It was so far below empty, but we made it, you know, we made it. That new fuel pump, we're just breaking her in right away. I'm not sure. Do you want to grab a snack here or keep going? Okay, we're doing the homemade burritos. This could get, this could get dicey. Here's the rules for riding shotgun with me. Do not ever touch the radio. And you gotta wash your own side of the windscreen. That's just, that's the way it's been since I was born. He's doing pretty good. He's got a hang of it. Gambled and lost. So I don't know if you knew this, but this crash bar bumper is an extendo bumper. I'll show you what I mean. If you look down here, See how it slides? So when you put your camper in here that comes out to here, you undo the bolt on either side, slide this out. I think there's three different settings. You could bolt it back up and that way your bumper, you know, you're gonna back that into something else before your actual camper. Anywho, where I'm going with this is unacceptable. Let's spruce this bumper up really quick. We're going to completely rebuild this, and by that I mean tss, 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 tss. Windiest day in New Mexico to spray paint, park down wind from the porta potties. Wow, look at this thing. What a view. And right there in front of us is Route 66. Boom, rebuilt, 39.6% better, well, maybe more than that. A couple abandoned buildings we're gonna go check out there. And we're gonna get hit the road about hour and a half that way is supposedly one of the first travel stations ever. I'm talking this thing was built in 1934. I don't have a lot of details other than that. I wanna go check this thing out. It might still be in operation, I don't know. Here it is, Lions of the Corner. I've had nine minutes of sleep this week, so I'm gonna get some of the deets wrong, but basically Klein, that little stinker. He knew that the Route 66 was gonna be changed, so he used to head north. They clipped 90 miles off of it. They brought it down here. And this is the intersection of 285 and what used to be Route 66, so he came out here and pounded a stake in the ground and said, mine, right here. Then he convinced map makers to call this Klein's Corners. It's not a city or a town, it's unincorporated actually. And he wanted to make a place where you could shop, eat, get gas, service station, and he did. And it was a really quaint, small, well, I say small, but it was typical size for back then. But the whole thing was food, get you a sombrero, maybe a shot glass. Kind of the first travel souvenir, kind of anywho. I'm wandering here, getting getting tired. He sold it a couple of years later, business was booming. I don't know what he did, probably retired. It's had five owners since then, and now it's 30,000 square feet. And these doors are locked, so you gotta go around. See, it says it on the door. They got an RV park and a bunch of gas pumps. And these doors are locked. See, it says right here. So you gotta, you gotta go over to these doors. Have never seen the drug rugs in little dude size. That's pretty cool. I guess we're running late. We missed the whole kit and caboodles. But got some games or something down here. Strength test, I'll crush it. Yeah. All right, hit it up. They even got the tss, boom booms. Well, we swung it into Blake's 
a lot of burgers. 70 years of awesome. Keeping the diet nice and tight, you know. We're gonna shut it down early tonight, grab a cheap motel right down the street. Early for us is, I don't know what it is, 10, 30, 11. Because we're getting up bright and early tomorrow because the C20 is getting the seat recovered, new carpet, sill plates, door carpet. We're going all out. You can see we still got a lot of parts in this thing. Last day of cruising, might as well get some, some comfortability in there. Right away tomorrow morning, the first thing we're hitting is a musical highway. It's going to be awesome. Thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it very much. See you very soon.